Miss Indri, you can start. Okay. Well, uh, hello everyone. Um, uh, you must be wondering who I am because this is my first time uh, during this this uh, this discussion. Uh, uh, my name is Indri, and actually I'm from Padang, but now I'm staying in Jakarta. Um, yeah, actually I have involved with uh, Ota community for a long, long time. Even the name is still Ota English, but yeah, uh, something wrong. The one who lives in Russia would be annoyed with me. <laughs> like me, he doesn't hear right now. He doesn't join because he, he has his own business. Okay, before that, um, I want to know all of you here because we don't know each other. Uh, can I just call the, the name directly? Is it? Okay. Um, uh, uh, Mr. Irfan, are you there? Yeah, hello. hello. Yes, indeed. Okay. I'm sorry I can't turn on my camera. Okay, that's okay. Uh, um, should I introduce myself? Yeah. It's short. Sure. Okay. Okay, my name is Irfan and I'm now living in Bogor. Thank you, Ms. Indri. So you work you you work in Bogor or you are a college student? Yeah, sure. I'm working. Oh, okay, nice. Mr. Irfan, thank you. Uh, thank you. Next, uh, Sunshine. Is that the real name? Sunshine, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it's not my real name, to be honest. It's like uh, taken from my real name. My real name is it is a part of called Sunni. And that's why it's uh, somehow reflecting the word sunshine. Oh, like, sunny. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, so, you are from? Uh, I'm from I'm from Malang. Oh. <laughs> I'm from Malang, but currently I stay in there. But, but yeah, I'm not uh, Mr. Hulu's sunshine, by the way. <laughs> okay, it's very nice to see you, Indri, uh, because you, uh, I suppose that you're my tutor's uh, sister, <laughs> Sir Kibu. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm so delighted to see you. Okay, by the way, I I'm working, but at the same time, it's part time. Uh, yeah, I'm having my master study just like Indri. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Mr. Sunny. <laughs> Next, Sophie. Sophie, are you there, Miss Miss Sophie or Mr. Sophie? I'm here, Miss Andre. Thank you so much for calling me. Yeah. Yeah, my name is Sophie. As you can see, I currently live in Samarinda. I'm a student. Oh, you're a student. Uh, in university or? In your high school? Uh, I wish I still in high school, but unfortunately, I'm in university last semester. Um, next, um, Mr. Harleen or Miss Harleen? I miss. Hi, oh, Miss. Yeah. Hello. Hello, Mr. Kudori. Thank you for it tonight invite me i'm surprised yeah. because i still outside oh nice so oh, where I, are you from i'm from prorejos uh, at central java do you know never, um i've never been there oh uh -huh, yeah small city in here near from yogyakarta nice yes so you, you are a student or um, no, I'm not student. Actually, I'm housewife. 
Hi. Hi. Wow, you look so beautiful. No, really. So I just traveling, so just arrived now. Okay, nice. So tired, yeah. so really, really tired for now. Okay. So the day so uh, for me. So I want listen and oh Shopee, thank you. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Miss Herlin. Uh, is Mr. Hmm. Reno. Hi, Miss. I'm Reno, and I'm a student in English department. Oh. So it's my first time to join this kind of discussion. I'm actually uh, in the group uh, since last year, but it's my first time to join this kind of discussion. I hope that I can learn a lot here. Thank you, Ms. Indri. Okay. So where, where are you from, Mr. Renu? Oh yeah, I'm from Central Java. Oh, Central Java? Yeah, Central Java. But now I'm in What? Sumatra. Oh. In Tembilahan. Oh, Tembilahan. Now you are in Sumatra? Yes, I'm in Tembilahan right now. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Reno. Next. Okay. Uh, Mr. Chain, is it Chain? Chain? How is how to yes, miss. the name? Okay, uh, can you introduce yourself, please? Okay, well, okay, good evening, Miss. It's actually my name is not Kane, I just changed my name. Oh, okay, okay, Ridwan is my name, and I'm exactly from Lamongan. Oh, It's Java. Okay, thank you. So you are a student? As you can see from my face. Uh, I can see your face. <laughs> okay, I have graduated from my college, actually. Oh, oh you are a fresh graduate? Um, not really. Uh, not really. So you, you are working now? Mm -hmm. Jobless, maybe? Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't want to ask so far. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> Mr. Okay. Uh, read, read one, yeah? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Miss. Thank you, Mr. Febri. Hi, Miss Indri. Good Hello. evening. Good evening. All right, my name is Febri. I'm Mr. Kus uh, student. Oh, what? I am Mr. Kus student, the admin yes. of Kota community. Me oh. too. So I'm his student. Oh, okay. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> so, where are you from? I'm from Palembang, but I live in Bogor. No? Bogor district, I guess, Chitra, exactly. Oh. Okay. Near Chibino. So yeah, you, you are working there. I am Mr. Ko's student. I'm his student. <laughs> oh. Okay. Especially for English, yeah. Oh. But in the daily, I'm working. Okay. Nice. Um. Uh. Next, Mr. Sugianto. Hello. Good evening, Hello. Mbak Indri. Hello. Good evening. Yeah, I'm Sugianto. I live in Bekasi. Uh -huh. I work in Jakarta in Pulau Gadung. Uh -huh. And uh, but uh, I was born in Pekalongan, Mbak Indri. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Sugianto. Uh, next, Mr. Joko. Excuse me. Hello, Miss Indri. 
Hello. Uh, my name is Rizky. Uh, I'm from Kediri. Now I'm in college in University of Islam Kadiri. Oh, okay. So you are a uh, Kibos Junior, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay thank you. Next, um, Mardia. Hello. Hello. Oh, Miss Maria. Yes. And no need to call me Miss. Just Maria, please. Okay. Uh, I'm from Makassar. Uh -huh. I'm a student. Final year student. Yes. Oh, you're a student. Yes. In Makassar. Yes. Oh. Um, which part? Which part? In Makassar? Yes, uh, Sanudin University. Oh, okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Um, next, uh, Mr. Bambang. Hello. Are you there? Mr. Bambang, Bambang Su. Okay, we just next. Uh, the one with name just listener is a participants or or what? Okay, um okay uh but actually i don't know with the one with name Ota community can you to, uh, can you start <laughs> oh uh, that's right just yeah, start. yeah yeah okay okay i'm so sorry it's, take, it's taking too long i'm so sorry Can't you see the PowerPoint? Okay. So, um, uh, this is the topic that I always concern about, um, about uh, human trafficking and sex exploitation. Uh, I want to know that what thing that comes to your mind when you read this word, human trafficking and sex exploitation. Okay, is there someone want to raise their hand? What things that comes to your mind when you read this issue, human trafficking, and sex exploitation. No one? Okay. Uh I will okay. Let me try. Yeah. Um as far as I know, because uh, lately uh, lately I read some novels or uh, I watch some podcasts. Which tends to uh, human trafficking. Uh, it depends on what kind of, uh, how to say, what kind of point of view. It's only in my my perspective, perspective uh, to answer this uh, topic. Essentially, um, it seems like when we discussed uh, about humanity or a business, of course, talking about human trafficking and sex exploitation. Not only talking about uh, humanity, but the business. If a uh, business, it comes from commercial 
or, or how to say recruitment and enforcement to okay to earn money from human it means that a uh, human is a machine to earn a money not only exploit uh, the, the gender or opportunity or and so on but human becomes a machine thank you Okay, you say it's not about humanity, but it's also about business with profit, actually. And um, who else? Is there someone that would answer my question again? Not, not in? Okay, I will ask Mr. Febri. Mr. Febri? Are you there? Yes. Okay. Yes, Indri, I'm here. Okay. Uh, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, uh, I don't know. When it comes to the ex the words exploitation, I do believe that me it means that we push, uh, we push something very hard. So that's the exploitation. So sex exploitation. It's all about what we work on. We. We we push yeah or we push uh, someone or uh, yeah we push someone to do a sex uh, activity, but it it that it doesn't depends on the uh, someone's want oh, yeah we force yeah thank you so much <laughs> we force something like that and human trafficking I don't know it's it's real it's a big issue. Uh, I guess because uh, it's not only happened. It's not only happened, uh, and not young, but adult. But it's also happened in like uh, children because I don't know. Uh, maybe a, a couple months ago, I read about the news that uh, there are still uh, that there are many cases of <clears throat> human trafficking, especially for children, because. Uh, maybe what do we call they they want to sell organ tubu. Uh, I, I I don't know the the English of organ tubu. Uh, yeah, organ tubu, and they want they want to sell part of it, and they make money because of it. That's the reason why one of the reason of human trafficking. That's all. Okay. Nice. Uh, thank you, Mr. Febri. Yeah, actually, human trafficking, that human selling human. Uh, uh, it can be their body, their um, or uh, services. It can be services, but the trafficker would be, yeah, would be forced them. And Miss Sophie? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm just trying to. I just want to speak actually. <laughs> so, um, I heard this a lot like human trafficking, but I feel bad about myself because I don't really like digging deep down to it this entire time. Like, I have no idea what this is all about, but. As far as I'm concerned, I think uh, this is, if I'm not mistaken, is it something that include porn producing? Is that right? Like porn movies or uh, yeah, videos that we have that spread all over the internet. I think um, uh, anything that, um, something that, involve sexual things it always be addictive it's like any other drugs so it's gonna be um bad at the end of the day it just it's just a matter of time but it depends it still depends on what perspective you stand maybe it's just a business as long as the employees the people we put it on the market agree and we have their um what is that we have their uh 
uh, sorry, I can't find the word. Concern. We have their concern to do th those things. That's totally okay. But if we involve the children to it, that's the thing that I against. Because um, yeah, the children shouldn't be and never be, never sh uh, be a part of this. I have a story in in my in my village. I I, I live in a suburb for like a long period of time, so in like a remote area in in Borneo. And a friend of mine, it's a le literally a friend of mine. Like she sat next to me in the classroom, and I have no idea uh, what this girl uh doing for her entire life because she's she just 14 we no 13 because we are still ju junior high school i remember that but when i moved to a senior high i saw the news that she involved in porn productions with her dad i mean like that's so terrifying and terrible because uh, the society, of course, blamed the kid and then the dad. Uh, but I think my then my friend have no idea what she she've done, what what she, she did it, because she's still so young. She's still like um, underage at that time. She just like follow what the parents told told her to do, right? But this is just one simple case. I mean, like we can imagine like a wider cast in this nation what's going on here in this um in this industry in human trafficking of course it's a it's a criminal but um when the when the police interview my friend she said that she she liked it i mean she she wants it but we know that this is not this is not okay i mean like just because she said she wanted it doesn't mean that she actually wanted it, right? So I think that is the this uh, a brief explanation that I can um, explain related to the point that you show on the slide. Thank you, Miss. Okay, thank you, Miss Sophie. That's a great answer. Yeah. Um, human trafficking is uh, can happen to anyone. Like you give that story is uh, uh, happen to young minor uh, under age. Yeah, uh, it, yeah, it's in good pornography. That's human trafficking, and we want to define it. Human trafficking is a, I'm sorry, uh, is a global crime that threats in people and exploits them for profit. Who is the victim of human trafficking? Like as uh, Ms. Sophie said before, it can happen to anyone regardless of ages, races, or gender, uh, it can happen to men or women. It can happen to you and me. Next, uh, there are types of human trafficking, uh, forced labor exploitation, domestic servitude, sex exploitation. But the sex exploitation is the highest case in the world. So what is sex exploitation is? Anyone? Anyone can answer what is sex exploitation is? Okay, Miss Rara. 
Miss Rara, are you there? Miss Rara? No. Or Mr. Reno? Are you there? Mr. Renu, nothing. Or Mr. Irfan. Yes, Miss. Hello. Can you answer what is sex exploitation? Hmm. Okay, it's um, so far I know uh, it's it's about the uh, when when maybe when someone used uh, someone else for uh, inappropriate purposes uh, in a sex uh, uh, activity like that, and then yes, of course as the. Uh, Previous uh, maybe statement also it's it's all about maybe some people use it for profit but an another one is maybe for they um how to say uh, satisfied I mean like like that like that for they for the per day um hasrat how to say it in English <laughs> maybe that's for me Miss Indri. You still mute, Miss. Okay, thank you, Mr. Irfan. So, who can answer this question? What is sex exploitation? Who to cover their opinion? Thank you, Mr. Sunshine, Mr. Sunny. Mr. Sunny, are you there? Or Miss Mardia. Okay, thank you. <laughs> uh, I think sex exploitation is they are using someone. It can be a woman or man for their profit. Uh, actually, I'm not really familiar with this topic, but can I say uh, prostitution is one of the sex exploitation? I think that's it. Thank you. You miss Maria. Anyone else? Um, can I try, Miss Indri? Okay, that's good. Okay. Um, it's actually I I'm not sure or I can say I don't know at all about sex exploitation, but based on the, based on the what is it, Google, <laughs> I'm trying to search. Okay. Um, wait a minute. Sex exploitation is defined as an actual or attempt abuse of someone's position or vulnerability, such as person depending on you for survival, food rations, school, books, transport, or the other service. Differential power or trust to obtain sexual favors, including but not only by offering money or other social, economic, or political advantage. It includes trafficking and prostitution. That's all, thank you. Okay, thank you, Mr. Goose. Uh, that's actually so formal. Let me just uh, say it in a simple way. 
is a uh, all forms of use of sexual organs for profit that sex exploitation yeah the acts of sexual exploitation yeah someone have said that is a uh, prostitution or pornography and anything else is there someone know the other beside prostitution and pornography okay mr bambang okay yes miss Okay, uh, I think sex uh, exploitation uh, beside the pornography or uh, next, uh, another sample is when the someone uh, take a photo uh, body or uh, or or another yeah uh, and and uh, share to the uh, google like this and he 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 get uh, money for uh, when the share the photo or video i think is a sample about the sex location Okay, so it's like a crime through online, isn't it? Yeah, that's uh, actually a sex, uh, sex exploitation through online. Anybody else? There's a lot of examples at your mind. Um, Mr. Sunshine, are you there? No. Okay. Mister, time is yours. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Thanks for the chance given. Yeah. Acts, actual, uh, acts of sexual exploitation include not only photography or photo. Uh, moreover, moreover, we we cannot live far from. Uh, social media and so on. How to how to obtain information? How to obtain um video, photo, uh, whatever, whatever it is. But as far as I'm concerned, it's coming from our mindset on how to educate our mindset, how to erode um sex sexual exploitation. Maybe what. Uh, um, Mr. Irfan said before, it comes, it's due to a desire, uh, how to fulfill someone's desire if they are not satisfied with their couple. For, for instance, they have been married, but they haven't satisfied with uh, uh, their couple, or it's because of they watch uh, too much or over uh, a lot of videos, a uh, lot of Negative, negative videos and so on, but uh, I'm going to provide, I'm uh, going to deliver coming from economic. Maybe because they have no money, but they have a uh, lot of doubt, uh, but uh, then it makes them to get the money, whatever uh, the work is, whatever the job is. I guess it's because of economic. We don't think about the, how to get higher education, how to get um, well educated, how to get uh, how to say how to fulfill our lifestyle. But even they have if they want to buy a food and so on. They don't know what to do. It's coming from economy. So uh, I, I I just uh, say, talk about about this because uh, I find it I find it out from some of my friends but not uh, human trafficking. But nowadays, uh, I'm going to take, I'm going to meet him who 
who has a prostitution, it seems like a human trafficking. But yeah, something like that, I guess, because he, he offers all of his uh, all of his relations to I would say to cut a job by using that way. <laughs> it means that some, sometimes uh, he offers to the student of college because we know that most of students of college they lack of money to pay university fee if they have no if they, they not get any scholarship it seems like that it's coming from economy thank you okay so you think that the one who do uh, prostitution is because they're poverty right because of poverty so they uh, tend to use uh, yeah prostitute or fulfill their lifestyle isn't it is that you mean okay nice who else so what do you think about prostitution is there's a lot of story they yeah they uh, are willing to do prostitution no matter what is because of their economic or they sometimes they admit that they don't get forced they willing to do that what do you think about that okay mr bambang mr bambang yeah yeah miss Okay, uh, why the someone uh, to prostitution? Because uh, main factor is economic and environment. Environment like uh, uh, who 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 is a person being bergaul, yeah. Uh, my factor is economic because when when he live in the society, uh, effort is uh, rich and he don't have uh, anything. I think he he should uh, he looking for uh, something to get the money uh, with the fast. Mm, when the someone uh, do prostitution, I think maybe one or one until two hours he get money. Yeah. Different when he work in the uh, the company, maybe need uh, one month to get uh, money. Miss, I think uh, is is uh, why why the someone. Uh, do prostitution because he get money very fast then he do he do working in the company or business miss you know miss okay it means that uh do a prostitution being a prostitute is a shortcut to get more money isn't it yes yes yeah Thank you, Mr. Bambang. And just next to the ex of sexual exploitation. These are the ex, sexual assault, demanding sex, forcing sex, forcing a person to engage in prostitution or pornography, and with it touching of a sexual nature, uh, refusing to use self sex practice, that's uh, the acts of sexual exploitation. Okay. You might be wondering about what is the difference between sex exploitation and sex harassment okay can somebody answer that okay. 
A. Okay, Mr. Isan, some is yours. Uh, okay, thank you for the chance. Uh, in my opinion, sex exploitation is almost same as sexual harassment, but the difference is uh, you take the benefit from the sexual itself to uh, another thing such as financial or many things outside uh, the victim itself. I mean, taking more benefit whether it's for economy or others. But sexual harassment is uh, focusing on the actor itself who doing the harassment just for satisfaction for the last with the victim is didn't want to do any sex or uh, unwan unwanted touches by the rape. That's my opinion. Okay, thank you, Mr. Isan. Yeah, uh, that's right. Sex exploitation is for benefit, but uh, sex, uh, sexual harassment is just for their last, their desire for, for something. But it can be not just touching, but also verbally. So, who next wants to give their opinion about? sex exploitation and sexual harassment. Okay, these are the differences between sex exploitation and sexual harassment. So I want you to give me example of sexual harassment. Yeah, we know the we are we we know the case, right? It can be happen anywhere, especially verbally. There's a lot of issue about this. Um, Mr. Risky, are you there? Okay. Uh, I'm still here. Okay. Uh, can you give me the example of sexual harassment? Uh, mm, I will. Uh, actually, I'm a little beginner, then I don't, I don't know what. Okay. Um, yeah, maybe it's the difference. Sex exploitation. It's uh, sexual harassment. It's victim and. Sexual exploitation, it's uh, you just want to make money from there, from this. Maybe just, just like that. Okay, well, uh, I want to ask you, but what is the example of sexual harassment? It's only one, only one example. Sexual harassment, um, uh, when people watching, maybe in, apa, sekarang gak sadar gitu. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think it's, it's like that. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, my, my English is not very well. Uh, that, that's okay. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah. I. Uh, I. I would find another answer. Um. Mister. Yeah. Mister. Who raise your hand? Okay. Time is yours. <coughs> okay. 
it's coming from two words such as exploitation and harassment. If uh, sexual harassment are, I don't know, is able to uh, take place in relationship uh, in a household, it seems like a husband slaps a uh, wife. <clears throat> it it uh, it takes place, but if sexual exploitation, does husband to sex exploitation to uh, to his uh, wife? Of course not. <clears throat> If they do, if they, if if a husband does it, it's funny, right? <laughs> yeah, if they have no humanity and so on, yeah, it can it can be, it can it can do that, but how could it be? To to earn money, uh, a husband sells this couple. Oh, it it doesn't make sense. Uh, maybe even in an exception. I don't think so. It takes place to, to, to a couple of, of people. I think so. An addition needs sex exploitation patient. I'm not only talking about the gender, such as men and women, masculine and feminist. But they, the point is, as an owner, they earn money from a people or human, no matter the customer, no matter the customer is. The point is, an as an actor or prostitute surfaces the customer, well, and the owner earn money from that. Uh, for instance, if the actor or the prostitute got sick, or uh, the actor needs to pay her, how to say, her her family or her children if they they have a family. It has, no, no, she has a tough through the owner. So how could it be they trapped in that circulation in order to uh, do that, um, sorry, in order to do that activity? How could they have to move out from that circulation or that place to, to, to regularly or repeatedly? I don't think so. It's not only humanity, but it's a business. Even you have to have, for instance, five million rupiah, but the actor can pay because of they get um, additional money or bonus from the customer, but they save it uh, independently and then they pay from the owner. But it's not only talking about death. The owner will ask the bodyguard or someone who is strong to kill the actor. Because they will speak up, they will, uh, how to say, uh, announce, I will say to a lot of people what they have, uh, what they have done in prostitution. It's it's a big, uh, how to say, it's massive or enormous uh, business. <laughs> if sexual harassment, it take, uh, it's able to take, it's able to take place to a uh, relationship in household. But sexual exploitation, they don't think about that. They have no humanity, I think, like that. Thank you. And that's nice. Uh, on the chat, some uh, Mr. Febri said that give a comment on IG such as your boobs is blah, blah, blah. <laughs> your butt is blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Uh, you can say it as sexual harassment, verbally, right? There's a lot of uh, example of sexual harassment, such as, yeah, I have a story that uh, when I was four, uh, when I was four, uh, uh, it's one of uh, sexual harassment because this guy just, show me his you know that be yeah he just show it without telling anything it just beside on the street that's so <laughs> i'm so surprised i was for i was for yeah i i get that trauma 
now, but I am okay. I, I used to it. Okay, next. Um, oh yeah, someone want to give me another example of you have another story of sexual harassment. Uh, I want to add uh, my opinion, Miss. Okay, nice. Uh, simple opinion uh, for me that maybe sex exploitation uh, just prepare or provide uh, service or facilities to other uh, same but uh, sexual harassment is a main actor he he touch uh, someone uh, Example, rap to woman. I think is my opinion about the different differential sex exploitation and sexual harassment. Yeah, that's right. Uh, uh, like I said before, sexual harassment is just for the last without profit. Yeah, he uh, he the one that they the one the actor. They the one the actor. Different with the sexual exploitation, uh, they have another one that humans selling human, and they are victim. That's it. Okay, next. So, this will be interesting. What is the impact of human trafficking and sex exploitation? for victims. Anybody can answer? Okay, uh, Mr. Iksan. I think it's three things. Depression, trauma, and anxiety. That's all. Okay, anybody? Anybody else? Yeah, they would have mental health consequences, right? And the victim would be deal with their trauma, of course. And it's not easy to heal. Sometimes they need psychology to heal and it 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 doesn't heal for hours but for years. Um Okay, Mr. Febri. And so, uh, I don't know if it's right or not, but uh, I read an article, our article, maybe some sources say that uh, when it comes to the trauma or something, sometimes the sexual uh, interest or maybe yeah, sexual interest will be changed because of the trauma like that. Uh, someone's caught when they uh, they had uh, sexual a uh, sex exploitation or sexual harassments. Uh, and at first, maybe uh, they, at first maybe they tend to like girl or something because of some because uh, uh, they tend to like uh, uh, girls or maybe boys and something something like that. But because of the sexual harassments. So, uh, sometimes the victim can be, uh, can be, can, I mean, uh, the victim's sexual interest can be changed. Something, I, I don't know, uh, I just, I just want to add that one because it happens. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Mm, I also heard a lot of uh, yeah, a lot about this, like LGBT, they would say that, oh, I become gay, I become lesbian because I got sexual harassment, I got sexual exploitation, so I become 
yeah, become a lesbian because I got that from Maya. There's a lot of articles about that. And, um, you know, uh, sometimes uh, the stigma about the victim, some people would say that and blame the victim instead of support the victim. Yeah, such as, yeah, you, you got rap just yeah, because you uh, you are wearing sexy clothes or, oh, it's same as like, you got robbed because you're stupid, something like that. Is it right? Is it Indo Indonesia stigma, you know? They blame the victim instead of support the victim. Exactly. Exactly, Mr. Family. <laughs> okay, um, okay. Miss mm, Sophie. Okay, thank you, Miss. I think I just add some more because we're talking about the impact. Of course, it is right, it, it, it will impact our uh, mental, like, yeah um anxiety depressions whatsoever but i think even worse it could be like uh of course it will affect their surroundings the victim surroundings such as a family and friends uh or even strangers they try to like put the burden into someone else like it seems like begal when they when they uh got when somebody took something from them they wanted they want to like do the same thing from uh, to uh, from others too, so this is like the worst, the worst impact that could have been experienced by the victim, and also I think another impact that could be happen is, uh, since the, uh, they build the smaller, the smaller business that they have learned or that they have seen from the industry they they are living, so uh, first of all they become a victim, but. Uh, as time goes by, they become the owners of the industry. So I think that that could be also happen. Yeah, uh, that's that's um, uh, just that, just from my perspective. Yeah, that's that's it. <laughs> yeah, the first that you uh, thing that you mean is the first. Uh, she has become a victim and then uh, she look up oh is it such a nice business i could be the owner <laughs> something like that right but i think yeah i just mentioned uh, the 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 possibilities that could happen okay but uh, uh hopefully it doesn't happen okay mr reno Okay, I just want to give uh, some additional information. I had ever read an article that talked about, uh, you know, sexual exploitation is like a virus, especially for those who are gay or lesbian, because, you know, uh, for example, there is a man who uh, exploits someone for sexual, I mean, it's like guy, or how can we call, I'm so sorry, uh, so do me like that. And, you know, it's like a virus that the victim can be infected by, by uh, you know, a bandit boy so that the victim can do the things uh, uh, to, to the other boy uh, in the future like that. It's also about lesbian. Uh, if there is a girl who get this kind of... Uh, lesbian exploitation so that she can do that thing again in the future so it's like a virus that can infect uh, the victims so is that maybe what do you think about that guys okay um yeah being lesbian or being gay is actually uh influence can influence another people. Yeah, I think that's so. I think so. So yeah, we have to be aware. Just be aware. Just be aware about this issue. 
is there someone have a plan or a part of trafficker in here? I hope not. Okay. Is there someone to add some opinion more? Okay, Miss Mawa. Miss Mawarfina, time is yours. I think I think uh, I have a bad signal, so I just want to raise hand for the the previous slide. <laughs> just want to add, yeah, just add one. Just want to add some opinion about the negative impact of human trafficking and sex exploitation. Uh, before I I want to uh, uh share my opinion. Thanks for Miss Indri. Yeah, thanks for the opportunity, Miss Indri. Is it okay? Is my voice audible to you guys? Yeah, it's so clear. Oh, all right. Well, about the impact of human trafficking and sexual exploitation. Um, maybe yeah. As far as as far as I knew, maybe it has many negative impacts on emotional well being. Um, yeah, you know that human trafficking can uh, lead to lasting psychological challenges and um, maybe children or adults experience a cycle and emotional trauma which is associated with uh, removal from their families and home, their homes or their communities as they become a part of the vulnerable growth uh, after it affects in emotional well-being. Maybe, maybe uh, the victims uh, in human trafficking in human trafficking may have uh, seek uh, physical health problems. Uh, and people who people who are trapped people who are trapped uh, in human trafficking uh, usually experience in human in human living. I mean, they live in an appropriate condition, and they have um, inadequate inadequate diet and hygiene and also have got abusive in physically uh, after that uh, maybe mm, well wait a minute oh maybe uh, uh, negative impacts on uh, human trafficking it is uh they the uh, the children the children um also uh, uh the children cannot attain the educational field as they are being victim of uh human trafficking so it it can also affect in educational deprivation for many children who are trapped in human traffic trafficking i think I think that's all, maybe, Miss Indri. Okay, thank you, Miss Mawa. Yeah. Actually, it's not just about mentally, but uh, also about physically, like Miss Mawa said before. And Mr. Bambang said in the yeah in the chat box said that. Naturally, God created Adam 
uh, and Hawa, not Adam and Bundy. Why LGBT appear in society on a factor R trauma and what is it? Okay, it's just my opinion. And LGBT becomes additional color in this world, so that therefore is rainbow. Flow. <laughs> okay, nice. Nice opinion. Okay, next. I want you to uh, pick up one issue uh, in Indonesia about human trafficking and sex exploitation. Just one issue. Which one? Is uh, Mr. Reno raise the hand? Oh, no, no, no. It's actually uh, my hand this time. But it's okay. I will take to uh, try to answer this kind of questions okay. about my opinion about this issue in Indonesia. Okay. Yeah, actually, right now there are so many human trafficking, but someone who sell uh, the human is not someone else, but but the one itself. I mean, it's like they are like you know they sell themselves uh, like we know uh, there is a famous social media that used to sell someone for sex uh, we can call it me chat uh, maybe you know guys about that and it's it's really a famous uh, for young people especially in a campus in university uh, you know I'm a boy uh, and I'm like the other boys and you know when I when I hang out with my friends for example like uh, enjoying coffee in a cafe there are some topics that we talk and one of them is me chat <laughs> like that but we, we don't do it we just discuss about that and you know it's like something usual. It's like something common for young people in Indonesia, and actually, it's a bad thing. But because uh, because this kind of uh, thing is, is is common, so that someone thing that is just come. It's really hurt. Uh, hurt humanity actually because uh, not only someone sell the other people but also someone sell himself or herself in social media for sex service and yeah I, I don't know it is uh, a disaster or it's just uh, you know something like like pass 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 uh, I don't know, like lewat begitu aja. Gak tahu ini bencana atau sesuatu yang lewat begitu aja. Setelah micat nanti nggak ada atau diblokir gitu. Okay, maybe just that. So you are the one who you, who use micat? Oh no no, <laughs> I never do loud that thing. Uh, but because it's really popular, so that I know this kind of apps. Actually, I don't know how WeChat works. It like is we how they get the, the contact. I don't know too. Maybe it's like um, Facebook or oh, I don't know. It's actually it's it's WeChat is actually you know some some kind of did apps i mean an apps for date for for uh you know looking for someone for dating this is like tinder ah uh, yeah it's like tinder and other apps but i don't know how to use it because i never download it okay <laughs> maybe some boys here knows about that can you guys please 
tell the story about Mr. this. Mr. Sunshine, no, but it. This is very simple because uh, Mr. Fabri taught me before. <laughs> I, uh, can you remind me uh, if uh, my song and my voice is echoing? Okay. Uh, I do work. <laughs> Not to that extent, but I know how to use it. <laughs> it's a very simple, just like a Tinder. So uh, you just have to save the number, but basically uh, it can reach the, the closest, the closer person, people around you to connect with. Okay, so more similar to that. Okay, thank you for uh, reminding me that my voice is equal. I hope this one is better. <clears throat> Okay, so um, uh, Mr. Reno, I believe that he can humbly admit, yeah, but probably due to uh, this is public space, okay? <laughs> That's why probably we can talk behind the books later. Okay, I'd like to give uh, my personal perspective regarding the sex exploitation and human trafficking in Indonesia. Um, as far as I'm concerned, um, uh, meat chat is isn't supposed to be a proper definition of human trafficking uh, because human trafficking means that there is no consent from both parties okay there is somebody that being in range uh, legally and it is not with their volunteer uh, volun uh, I mean like uh, their volunteer um, feeling okay uh, in fact, uh, human trafficking seems like uh, I couldn't find any news or or is it just probably uh, social media prefer not to tell about it because it's not something that filing or we're buying for dragging more readers or viewers. Probably uh, it's like a flip-flop because uh, the theme or topic about human trafficking is still uh, something that has been ever discussed in the beginning of 2000. Okay. Um, meanwhile, talking about uh, sex exploitation, probably um, what I'm going to deliver has been discussed before because I didn't fully join the, uh, the session. What I'm trying to say is that um, <clears throat> sex exploitation uh, can, be, can be done in any places, okay? Um, as, as long as there is chance. Okay, and possibility. Uh, I guess in Indonesia itself, exploitations can massively emerge um, behind uh, the most um, fundamental uh, big bone of Indonesia, which is academic or educational institute. Okay. Um, probably the most case would happen naturally in how uh, the students need or are in dire need of signatures guidance from their uh, supervisors uh, to complete their thesis, for example. Okay, there would be a lot more, uh, especially uh, when it comes to work field. Okay, uh, I believe that uh, to uh, uplift our own uh, welfare, okay, probably for um, excelling our career later, or probably getting a better position, okay, in the eyes of uh, some higher sub, okay, we, we let sex exploitation happen, okay, even because uh, it's due to um, undurable fear, because when we become social justice, um, how to say it's like, uh, social, how is the social justice people? I mean, the one that um, how they react to injustice happened uh, in front of them. Okay, we will be victimized later on. Uh, we will getting the bully later on, and that's why we prefer to be in the silent part, in the hidden side, and so that we uh, we avoid the case, we avoid to be bullied. Okay, meanwhile. The one being oppressed will be continuously dominated and hurt, suffer. Okay, and that's why, um, if I'm not mistaken, there's like um, a previous case when somebody would like to uh, confess, make a confession, um, they would uh, they would face um, how to say it's like 
<clears throat> specific load related to the, um, how to say, harassing, I mean, like tainting the reputations or the name. Okay. So, um, meanwhile, for some people, uh, this kind of foundations will be deemed or will be assumed as uh, fitna. How to say fitna, Mr. How? Okay, it's something false. Okay, false accusation. And that's why uh, to bring it more and higher to a legal chair or perspective, it would sort of dominating imposing for the victims. And that's why, uh, in my assumption, uh, the positions of uh, NGO, especially those who demand or stand in the uh, front side of uh, human rights is supposed to, uh, supposed to be supported uh, so hard right here. Okay, I think, yeah, as serious, so suggested for you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, I think that's uh, my opinion. Okay. Um, you talk about social adjustment, something like that, and the slender of social that happened in Indonesia, but sometimes, uh, yeah, actually, uh, the law enforcement in Indonesia is not good. And luckily, there's a lot of non-government organization that could help the victims. I disagree with that. Law enforcement yeah. in Indonesia is totally good if you have money. Okay, that's it. <laughs> um, Actually, I uh, I've read about um, the case in Indonesia is about human trafficking in NPT, you know, Nusa Tenggara Timur, and um, uh, there are a lot of people there are uh, got tricked of the uh, from the trafficker, but there's a lot of people there being domestic. Do domestic servitude, like TKW, TKI, something like that. And yeah, that's because the poverty and uh, the trafficker uh, asked uh, their parent to take their daughter and then the parents would don't know the daughter is still alive or dying. And sometimes they give a lot of uh, false promises, like the salary. Oh, you have to work with me overseas because the the this uh, salary will be great. You you will be you, you will be rich, something like that. So I want to know about the case exactly in Indonesia that you know recently? Anybody know about the case? Okay, probably Bambang, Okay, for us. Okay, Miss, Mr. Bambang. Uh, okay, thank you, Miss. Uh, I have ever reading about regulation uh, about the uh, sex, uh, exploitation. Yeah. Uh, when the victim uh, report to the police and legal process, the main actor will be will be fined uh, ter ter hundred million or prison. 10 until 15 years miss is the is the regulation about in uh, government indonesian miss okay uh that's it is about the regulation any anybody can give me an example of this issue in Jakarta mm -hmm. or in Sumatra, do you know the issue recently that happened about human trafficking and sex exploitation? 
or okay, Miss Mardia. Thank you. Uh, I think I would like to share, or maybe uh, we we are familiar with like uh, in a fishing industry. So uh, it's like a, they forced to work in a, a ship, and they actually don't know how to uh, communicate with others. So uh, they are uh, really miserable because. Uh, they are under payment or even maybe uh, they have they don't receive any payment because of uh, they are the the people in the ship sorry uh, uh, I, will, I would say like a seaport 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 labor so Anyway, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, people in the in the middle of the ocean, they can like uh, uh, communicate easily because they're in the middle of the ocean and they cannot. And I think this issue is really big, especially in the fishery industry. It's rust industry, and it's hard to find them because. Uh, because they're in the middle of the sea. Sorry, thank you, that's it. Okay, uh, thank you, Miss Maria. That's nice. Um, Mr. Rizky would be over his uh, opinion. Okay, thank you, Miss Indri. Um, I think I, I don't know what's the case or what's the issue, but I have been, I ever watched the video like when I 30 years old, I watched that people uh, like psychopath uh, doing the mutilation like uh, hand and like uh, slaughter the cow gitu. and it's, I, I don't, I'm, <clears throat> I'm still confused what's the purpose like human trafficking doing that you know, or for beverage or food to sell the organ and to food or I don't know I'm still confused with with the human trafficking like that maybe you can uh, give your opinion back Miss Indri human trafficking like uh, slaughter uh, mutilation body. Oh yeah. Um. Well, like uh, if the case is comes to kill people, people is actually has a different crime. Mm. I. 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 It's for the first is a. Uh, yeah, is a become a case human trafficking. If that has a another case like yeah, kill the uh, kill the victim is becomes another case. So it means the trafficker would be have two yeah, they have would be two crimes and. Okay, Miss Sophie would be give her opinion. Yeah, Miss, thank you. I'm just gonna be quick here. Uh, actually, I, I don't wanna give a statement, but more like asking all the participant here if the if this uh, consider, <clears throat> sorry, if it is statement considered as a right or wrong. Uh, since, we're talking about human trafficking is related to commercial uh, sexual exploitation. So I think the broadcasting in Indonesia also include, if I'm not mistaken. So what has been shown in our TV and radio or other mainstream media, it's also a part of uh, human trafficking. I'm going to uh, take one example. Back to back in 20s horror movies, 
not talking about pengabdi setan or Ivan or whatever but talking about uh, melahirkan di liang kubur pocong perawan and whatever like that kind of titles that just sounds disgusting right i think uh, it's also uh, considered as a a human is that is that i, I i'm just i'm just actually asking is that considered as a uh, sexual exploitation to, to ex, <laughs> sexual exploitation exploitation to or not <laughs> sorry miss <laughs> thank you okay um i think that is not uh, as a human trafficking because they not deal it as a uh, forceman. They're willing to do that. What do you think, Ms. Sofu? Am I wrong? I actually don't have uh, any uh, I, for this. I, I expect your answer, actually. Yeah. Okay. Um, I would read some chat box from Mr. Fabry, online prostitute involving some Indonesian celebrities in the beginning of this year. This is a sexual exploitation issue. Ah, oh, yeah, uh, that's a good one. Mr. Fabry, can you explain, expand about this online prostitution? Uh, okay. Yeah, it looks like I'm I'm so expert in this field to know. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know because online prostitutions uh is now like a modern like a modern uh tools, yeah, like modern tools for uh you know, everyone for for uh Ex, uh, for for sexual exploitations, uh, because maybe because it's uh it's easy money, what? <laughs> and also, uh, we don't have to go anywhere like uh, uh not commercial, but like all this uh, all this old school uh old school style. Like we have to uh, stand uh, somewhere to what do we call to uh, to assault to to call everyone and not to call everyone to call pelanggan or the customer to do uh to have a to have a sec with us uh, of course with a with money uh, but uh it's more modern right now uh, because they have a like a plat online platform to to do a online prostitution let's say Let's say if I mention it, and then you you will think negatively about me. <laughs> I mean, uh, something like that. But um, uh, a little bit about this, I guess that the root of this case is because of uh, like uh, I don't know. I can I can I call it like maybe when we are live and when 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 we are doing live on Instagram or other social media, and then. Uh, they, you know, uh, I do believe that we, uh, some of us, like, uh, are watching uh, when the, uh, no, not some of us, yeah, uh, maybe, yes, yeah, some of us, okay, uh, are watching, like, the the girls, or maybe uh, the boys, yeah, the girls or boys are shaking, or shaking, or dancing, and then, like, like uh, dancing on the, on that live platform, and then, showing showing their sexual things or their uh yeah sexual things like hand and then they dance body something like that uh, that can be one of the roots the root cause of uh, online prostitution uh, and more than that and and more than that uh, online prostitution also it's like a system it's like a system where the owner of this online prostitution is is definitely a big one who has my, who has many relation of there i mean as a 
customers, uh, let's say. And uh, the owner just need to enlarge or even the, the, the owner has uh, just need to, uh, to let the people know about the platform of this. And it happens in a big city like Jakarta or Jabodetabek, uh, something like that, yeah. Uh, that's all uh, I, that's what I know so far. Okay, thank you, Mr. Fabry, for the knowledge. Um, I'm very glad to hear that. So, we next to the conclusion time. Uh, we conclude that, yeah, we have to be aware with these global issues that has happened in anywhere and every time and um, uh, human trafficking and sex exploitation is very uh, dangerous because it can break people uh, mentally and also uh, physically and yeah it's still out there so uh, we have to be aware about this maybe this all of this uh, the discussion uh, of the discussion um, we ended earlier because yeah uh, I have a an, uh, I have a, an interview after this so I would give this discussion to Mr. Okay, yeah, yeah, I really appreciate Miss. The Miss Moderator, Miss Indy, where is Miss Indy? Okay, um, I'm so sorry for, yeah, for, for how to say closing or ending, ending, ending up, ending up uh, the discussion earlier because Miss Indri has an interview tonight. Yeah, I will keep it back. Yeah, since the topic is such as interesting for us to discuss, okay, the laptop is suddenly off. I know this one. Where is it? Okay, this one. Okay, yeah. Uh, the first time that I I uh, heard from some participants say that I'm staying. I uh, no no I'm stay. Yeah. Jadi kurang oke okay, ya kalau I'm stay because stay itu verb. Jadi nggak bisa I'm stay. It should be I'm staying or I stay. Oh Is that normal? Not I'm stay, but I stay. This is wrong. It should be I'm staying or I stay. That's one as a grammatical. You are a student. Nah, if the context is making it doesn't matter, but uh, ini juga kurang kurang sih. Bisa juga. Are you students atau are you worker? Kalau jadi pertanyaan harus dirubah. Tubinya harus di depan. Jadi tidak. You are student. You are worker. Nah, are you student? Are you worker? Tadi ada yang organ tubuh. Tadi organ. Maybe suburb. Nah, tadi Miss Sophie menyebutkan ada suburb ya suburb itu adalah pinggiran kota atau daerah kota desire or lust <coughs> tadi ada hasrat dan nafsu many factor ini kita bicara tentang ya, kuantitas kuantit, bukan kuantitatif what, what kind of lesson Mr Sunshine I forgot yeah many factors it should be many factors or we can use a lot of factors at a lot of factors, lots of factors. Bedanya apa? Kalau many itu untuk benda yang bisa dihitung, kalau much untuk benda yang tidak bisa dihitung, atau untuk many itu untuk countable. Kalau uh, a lot of it, it can be both. Bisa bisa untuk keduanya. Tadi juga uh, as grammatical, it's very basic basic lessons. Yeah. It should be he doesn't, not he don't, and also he does. Not he don't. 
slander, defamation, fitnah. Maybe. Okay, it's for the correction tonight. And later on, I will send to the group. But before we end up the discussion, oh, Miss Africa joined. I wish you to open your camera to the documentation. Hello. Can you can you turn on your camera? Yes, sir. Okay. Can you turn to the Okay, well, why thing Miss Ingrid? Right now, Shankar. Okay, I cannot open the camera right now. Huh? Oh, Mr. Shani Merdia. Sorry to do my camera. Okay, yeah, we are waiting for Miss Ingrid. And others, you can turn on your camera with your documentation. The sunshine, is your hair new? The sunshine, hello. <laughs> I like your hairstyle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Irfan, Mohrisi, Mohrisi, Misofi, Rara, Rara, Misofi, hello. I'm just very close. Okay, yeah. Let me count it. One, two, three, go. Once more. Wait, wait. Okay, this one. Freestyle. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. Thank you very much. So, and before we end the discussion, we have Yal Yal. When I say about community, you enter yesterday, you see tomorrow. Okay, okay. Let me let me uh, say it. Ota community. Yesterday. Yesterday. You say it. Tomorrow. Yes, say <laughs> tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> okay, Once thank you very much. See you for the next discussion. Okay. Uh, good evening, everyone. Happy weekend. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, Mr. Ko. Thank you, Miss Elsa.